So just a few days ago this week uh, marks the 87th anniversary of Will Rogers' death. Now, most people in America today have no idea who Will Rogers was, but 100 years ago, he was the biggest celebrity of his times on stage, screen, radio, print. Everybody listened to Will Rogers, and he was an amazing political humorist as well as just an overall humorist. And he was able to make fun of the Democratic and Republican parties and point out that, that we only have these two parties is, is kind of a joke in America. And it was a joke a hundred years ago. And today, we still think it's very serious and that the world breaks down into left and right and it's all clean and beautiful. But as we're actually seeing right now in America, that's not the case. It's not that clear cut. There aren't just liberals and conservatives. There are people. <laughs> and we all have different degrees of things we believe in about this and that and the other thing. And we are at a point right now where we cannot cater to the, the highest sense of ignorance anymore. So five years ago, I was introduced to Will Rogers really formally uh, when I was cast to play him in the Will Rogers Follies here at the Players Theater. And halfway into rehearsals of that show, I, I, I'd read a bunch of other stuff he'd written that didn't make it into the Will Rogers Follies. And I created my own one-man show called Will Rogers Revived because I felt that we really needed to revisit this wit and this wisdom. And more recently, I've, I've readapted that to this show called Get the Bunk Out. And tomorrow night, um, August 19th, I will have my premiere right here at Fogartyville Community Media and Arts Center right here in Sarasota, Florida. And it's really just a huge honor for me to be able to do this show here. And I'm excited about doing it. And this will kick off my tour. And on this tour, I will be visiting 24 states, uh, maybe even more. I've got about 38 stops planned along the way, and I've got about a dozen different memorials to Will Rogers around the country that I'll be visiting. And I'll be asking people about our political system, about our electoral system, and about how we as Americans can get to like one another again, or if that's even possible, or if we're just going to devolve into civil war and break this whole thing apart. I happen to believe that there will come a day we'll actually be able to embrace democracy, but we've really got to think about what that is. So by visiting the past and what's been said in the past, I believe we can move forward into the future. At least that's my hope. And that's one of the reasons I'm out here, one of the reasons I'm doing this show. So if you are in uh, Sarasota, Florida, or near Sarasota, Florida, tomorrow night, if you come out to Fogartyville, you will get the world premiere of this show. No one has seen this show like this before. And I've got four places on my tour where I will be also performing this show this year. And then I hope to be able to do it in other years as well, because I think it's a really important thing to consider. One, it's important to laugh. You gotta laugh. But if you're laughing at jokes from 100 years ago, then hopefully people will start bringing that into the present. And we'll start thinking about better ways to develop our political system than just one of two ridiculously extreme choices. So that's a big part of the show right there. And I hope you come out and see it. And it's going to be a fun show. It's going to be an amazing tour. If you're one of my six subscribers, I thank you for being a subscriber early on. And if you're just joining us on the channel, I hope you enjoy the journey. Thanks.